okay, firmly established those Shiite beliefs and Shiism in Iran, all right? That may or may not be on the test. I'm going to lean towards may. But firmly establish that. They're also going to enhance the identity of Persians with their incorporation of Persian ideologies. And also, you guys can remember that Persian rug, okay? With that, we are done with chapter 10. That's it. That's all she wrote, or they wrote. The book's written by multiple individuals. But we are going to do a little bit of a, of a review. We don't have a crazy lot of time, but I do want to go through a couple of these things. So you guys online are going to have a little bit harder of a time with the review because these guys in class are looking directly at a map. So lucky for them. But hey, that's just the benefit of coming to class, guys. Two dynasties are going to rule here. Which are the two dynasties that we just talked about? Somebody online, because these guys are looking right at it. How about Olivia? Olivia, what are those two dynasties we just spoke about? Wait, me or the other one? Uh, Olivia Thompson online. Oh, um, I can't remember their names. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, were they the Ottomans and the Safavids? Can you give me that? Yeah, that one yeah. of them is the Ottomans. Yeah, one of them is the Ottomans, and the other one is the Safavids. I gave you both. So where are they? Where are they located? You guys can answer this one. Where are they? Where are these two empires? Specifically the Safavids. Yeah, they're right in the middle there. They're sandwiched between who? Uh, and the Mughals, right? The Ottomans and the Mughals. And that is significant because what religion are the Ottomans? They're Muslim, but what subsection? Islamic. They are Islamic, but what subsection? It, with it does. They all start with an S, though, unfortunately. Sunni, yes. So we do have the Sunni Muslims. They are against the Safavids, who are the Shiites. So they don't get along. We have Constantinople falling to the Ottomans. What do they change the name to? Istanbul. So we have this happening. We have a golden empire under who the Magnificent. You guys remember it? It might be a little difficult to remember these names. It does start with an S. Solomon, right. So he explained the area he does a pretty good job Ottoman culture had something pretty unique to it when it came to how society was organized what are those groups called blank of the what have you what are they called I'm looking for one word and there are multiple in this classroom right now people but what specific word do they use might be a little too specific for you guys men men yes. men of men of the sword men of the pen men of the negotiation men of husbandry right so we see that we see um another group the janissaries what primarily are janissaries made up of Text. Yeah, they're made up of conquered people, more specifically Christian boys that are taken as a tax for the families from the Christian families. Okay. Uh, the Ottomans decline and the Safavid is going on at the same time. We said the Safavid is located in between Mughal India and the Ottoman Empire. Who is that guy? That that guy that really likes carpets? He's the yeah. Shah, the Safavid king. Blank the Great starts with an A. And uh, Ralph close. What were you gonna say? Alan. Very, very interesting guess. It was not Alan, it's actually Abbas. Alan's pretty close though. 
Yeah. Abbas Shah, Abbas the Great, Safavid declines due to who? Who causes this decline? That is the Ottomans, but I see where you connected that. Not his wife, it's actually those scholars of what branch of Islam? Good guess, guys. It is the Shiite scholars. So, there are so many S words. Don't forget, tomorrow we are doing that primary source review. It's 10 points. It's the first part of your test, so be here or be square. Bye, guys.